Today we're going to take a look at how to set up your radio to operate through a radio repeater. A repeater is a radio relay station that is typically located on a high structure or mountaintop and extends the range that two or more radios can talk. It does that by receiving your signal and retransmitting it in real time. However, repeaters cannot listen and talk at the same time on the same frequency. What they can do is receive on one frequency and transmit on a completely different frequency at the same time. These two different frequencies are a repeater split frequency pair. Let's take a look further. When you talk on a repeater with your handheld or mobile radio, you transmit on a repeater input frequency. For our discussion, we'll call this frequency A. Your handheld radio transmits up to the repeater on A. At the same time, the repeater simultaneously retransmits your audio, sending it out on a new frequency, which we will call frequency B. This happens in real time. So it's coming into the repeater on A and going out on B. Your handheld radio transmits on frequency A and listens on frequency B. It does this receive and transmit frequency split automatically, but you have to program the radio properly to make it happen. Fortunately, with modern day radios it's pretty easy to do, and there are online repeater directories that can help you to figure out the repeater frequencies used in your particular area. We're going to use repeaterbook.com as our source for today's examples. A quick side note, some repeaters require CTCSS tones, also called a subaudible tone or a PL tone, in order to access the repeater. Since it's a different topic, we'll keep it simple and ignore these repeater tone requirements for this discussion. What we'll do first is look at the 2 meter band and then look at 440 and GMRS after that. In the 2 meter band, there's a standard offset of plus or minus 600 kilohertz. This can be written as plus or minus 0 0.600 megahertz. They both mean the same thing and can be written either way, but most radio menus will display 0 0.600 megahertz. What this means is that in order to talk to the repeater, your radio must transmit on a frequency that is offset either up or down by 600 kilohertz from the frequency that you are listening to. It may be a little easier to understand in a real world example, so let's take a look. Here's a listing for an open repeater in California on Palomar Mountain in San Diego County. It transmits on 146.73 megahertz. To hear the repeater, you will tune your radio to receive 146.73. Up on the mountaintop, the repeater is listening to hear you transmit on a different frequency, and that offset frequency is minus 600 kilohertz. It's listening on a frequency that's down or minus 600 from 146.73. It's listening on 146.13. We get to that number with simple math. 146.73 minus 600 kilohertz or 0 0.600 is equal to 146.13. That 0 0.6 is the frequency offset for the input to the repeater. What you then do is enter the 0 0.600 offset in your radio settings menu. It's commonly called offset and you'll likely see it as displayed as 0 0.600. The next step in the radio's menu is to enter the direction of the offset. Radios will often call it the shift direction. And in this case, it's a minus. So let's try another example in a little bit more quickly. If we look at the directory, we see a repeater located at the airport on Catalina Island on 147.09 with an offset of plus 600 or plus dot 600. That means you'll tune your radio to 147.09 to hear it. This is the repeater's output frequency. You want to talk on the repeater by transmitting a plus 600 kilohertz offset. Now let's take a look at the 440 megahertz band. On 2 meters, we had a 600 kilohertz offset, but on 440, we have a 5 megahertz repeater offset. This 5 megahertz split applies to the GMRS repeaters too. On GMRS, the repeater offset is always plus 5 megahertz, but on ham bands, it can be a plus or a minus shift. 
Almost all 440 repeaters use a plus 5 MHz repeater offset, except in Southern California and some surrounding areas. In Southern California, Arizona, and Nevada, it's upside down, and the 440 repeater inputs are down or minus 5 MHz. So now let's say that you're listening to this repeater in the Las Vegas area on Angel Peak on 447.475. The display on your radio would indicate the frequency that you're listening to on 447.475. In order to talk on this repeater, you need to have an offset shift of minus 5 MHz. So your radio would listen on 447.475 and you would transmit on 442.475. Again, this frequency offset of 5 MHz up or down would be done in the menu setting of your radio under the offset setting and shift direction. Here's an example on 440 where the offset shift direction would be plus 5 MHz. The repeater is located by the airport in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's listed as 441.625 with a repeater offset of plus 5 MHz. So your radio would listen on 441.625 and transmit up 5 megahertz. Now let's take a quick look at GMRS frequencies. We'll go to Prescott, Arizona where we find a GMRS repeater on 462.675 megahertz. Plus 5 megahertz offset applies to all GMRS repeaters. We know that the repeater input frequency would be a shift of plus 5 megahertz. If you look at all of the GMRS repeater frequencies listed here, you'll see that all of the repeaters transmit in the 462 megahertz spectrum. So the obvious input frequency to the repeater will always be in the 467 spectrum. This applies to all GMRS repeaters because of the band plan that's authorized for GMRS repeater use. So now you have a better understanding of repeaters and the frequency pairs used to access them. If this was helpful, please let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And help others by hitting the like and subscribe button too. If you have suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comments section as well. So until next time, I'm Ray WB6LST saying 73.